Hey, I'm Jazz. And I'm Britt. And YCWA, yo, let's talk about scandal. Scandal. So what did y'all think about it? Status report. I think it was pretty turned up. I was... <laughs> um, There were parts that, you know... I mean, there's things that, of course, you know, pisses us off or pisses me off specifically because... I'm so like this whole stretching this out. Olivia's going. We told y'all before thing. Like I'm just not here for it. But um, oh yeah, the camera's over there, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is we have a different recording device, so I'm yeah. looking all over the place. But okay. yeah, I'm like, mm -mm. I I'm not feeling it. And then now that Iran has her, you know, you're kind of like, oh man, this is jacked up. But it was turn up worthy. I will say that it was turn up worthy. Um. Who was your turn up worthy character? Hmm. I have no idea. I'm going to say. I mean, Huck. Y'all about to say Huck. Turn Huck about to act up. He about to act up. Huck about to act up. He about to act up. Did I tell y'all Huck was about to be acting fool? Huck in there like on his but the Igor. Reason, but y'all know why he's acting fool. Because Liv's not here. Liv balances him out. If he knows yeah. she's all right. And he's and he's already like just made up his mind that Liv is dead. He's like, she's dead. Yeah, because he's like, I'm not going to waste my time with this trash because if he starts hoping and wishing and praying, then he was like, he's going to mentally go crazy. With, and he's already he crazy. Like, yeah. He's already crazy, but he has to, because she's not here, he's like, whatever, you know? I don't give a F. It is what it is. He's I'm going zero to a million real quick right now. Um, he's um, um, he's going to win proof. We need to use their heads as bounty. Speaking of that, <gasps> let's talk about punk ass Jake because see he always gets me sick how dare he act like you know he he was he, he was going to actually like, get uppity yeah, he and the like, goddamn you know say animal but then you start cutting off the head but you so, know I but mean, how you going to be uppity in the whole assassin I'm a crazy B613 person situation are you acting like you're better than him I mean like you you throwing shade on how someone kills like you all kill like let's true. not forget that Jake had that mass grave for those innocent individuals. Yeah. And Jake, what's his name? James was one of the four poor individuals yeah. who was knocked off by his ass. So don't be looking like down. Don't be looking life. down at Huck. Okay? That's my boy. He's my second. Uh, and he killed James slowly. He was like, I'm sorry, you're going to bleed out slowly, but whatever. Nah, Huck would have ended that real quick. Well, no, no, no. It depends. It depends on what he, he did. To... It depends. Huck probably would have took his time if he needed information from dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, um... I, I like Huck going back to his. Uh, I like when Huck shows some crazy sometimes because some crazy. Yeah, he like has, was in there for five for ten minutes and there was blood splattered all over the walls. He on here on his strange fruit type stuff. He had organs and stuff hanging from the ceiling. Like. He had to do his thing. <laughs> I mean, I, but I like that about Huck. That, that Huck has that dynamic that you know, yo, you f around. I can go there with it. He's also the hacker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, very intelligent. And he always has lives back. You know what I'm saying? One thing about Huck, he's not going to fall short when it comes to getting it done. Yeah. Jake, on the other hand, has fallen short Sometimes, and does yeah. on, on numerous occasions. Jake, Jake is not the type of uh, B613 agent that Huck is at all, in my opinion. Because um, if he was, Liv would have never got snatched out. There you have it. There you have it. Okay, now let's talk about... Uh, hey, Jake's report card is not looking right. What is this banging? Um, Fitz and Mel, these people that live above my mother. Lord, the noise they make. But I'm so tired of you. <laughs> let's talk about Fitz. Fitz and, and, and the distraught look on his face when they said that Iran bought her. He said, he, he said, excuse me, bought? And like, Melly was like... You know, it's, and it's interesting, the dynamic that's happening with Melly and Fitz. Yeah. You know, when she told him, like, look, we're going to have to let Andrew go. Punk ass Andrew, of course, is turned down worthy character. Yes, He's he also is. the creep bum bastard award goes to him. And that punk ass that shot uh, Ian. Homeboy. Is it even? Evan? I thought it was Ian. Ian, maybe. The homeboy, get, he's the runner up. Andrew is still top dog. The he creep shot bum that bastard like it was award. nothing. That's when I started really getting interested in the, in the uh, episode. He was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, let me get some ice cream. Pow! It did I come said, out of nowhere, though, because you saw how he was a little bothered about the whole fact that they were still doing this. All of a sudden, he switched and was like, well, shoot, well, this is what we're doing. Then let me get this money. But um, Ian, obviously, was like Jake, not on his game. Because yeah. how did your man get to drop on you like that? Yeah. And did, but Olivia's shock? I said, damn. The only thing that's good about what they're doing in regards to extending this whole Olivia hashtag gone girl thing is 
that we get to see Kerry Washington really act yes. and show us the different levels that she can hit in regards to her ability to act. It's not just one dimensional character who just trembles her lips and, and, and kisses fits and talks about her white hat and wears fly clothes. This she's given us a little bit. We get more. Yeah. You know, so yeah, because you saw the, the desolation of smog all over her face when <laughs> yeah, we got shot, right? And she had the blood on her and she's And like, then this motherfucker gonna sit next to her and start cleaning the stuff off her face. I was like, I don't like I don't like how they're getting, I wouldn't even man I don't like how familiar these mofos are being with Olivia. Somebody, she bust my head open and killed my best friend. Did y'all see when he had his thumb on her lip and she was talking about how she'll bite it off and I was like, yo this mother effer, man. I was like, oh my God, it's really bothering me. Every <laughs> time I'm watching it, I'm like, mm-mm. No, I was like, I wish Don't I could jump through that Olivia. goddamn TV. It's <laughs> like it's mofo. It's playing games, man. Because I, y'all know what Huck would do to them fools. God, just that we need Huck up in there. And, and it, but speaking of Huck, y'all saw how he was like, started talking about, you know, they're going to do this. They're going to cut a finger. They're going to do that. Yeah. And... They got upset with him because you know previously Jake was telling Quinn like I can't let him roam around like that, but that cracked me up. Did Quinn anybody? Like, Huck is fine. First of all, did anyone chuckle about that? Jake talking about what he can't let Huck do as if he has some control over Huck. First of all, Jake, what Papa Pope said about Jake is so on point. He has to swagger. He has this mindset of thinking that he's somebody that he's not. One, you're not command. Two, what in exactly. Jesus' name makes you think <laughs> that you can tell Huck or make Huck do anything? He forgot when Huck stood in that little alcove in the dark at Pope and Associates and said to him, if you hurt her, I will kill you. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, and Jake that. ain't say or do nothing. He didn't even know Huck was there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if y'all remember. He, Jake ain't on it, but what makes him think he could make Huck do anything? And what makes him think Quinn is going to let him? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Quinn was like, uh, leave my homeboy alone. I don't He's care fine. how crazy, I don't care how fooled up Huck is. Quinn ain't about to let, uh, anybody do anything to Huck. And it's not like as if Huck is some dude outside on the street murdering, murdering people. people for no reason. Get out of my face, Jake, okay? Jake is also turned down worthy. I wouldn't give him creep on Bass of the War, but he's turned yeah. down worthy because he's on this uppity bullish that gets me sick with Jake's ass coming at Huck like that. And Huck is the one, Huck is the one who's carrying making, everything. He's, he's making the moves. He's the one. You need, Jake wouldn't have been able to find the daggone um, First of all, Jake, Jake didn't have the balls to go and cut up Lizzie Bear's ass the way Huck did and get her ass scared, which in, which made her go to Melly, which made Melly go, to go give Andrew the vagina, got that information for Lizzie Bear to bring back to Huck. Okay. Huck is the one hacking and finding the goddamn network. He did. Come on. Come on. The dark Huck is the when one. They said the dark now. I was like, ooh, we getting like um, Star Wars or something in here? Like, you know, see? <laughs> Huck up here getting B613. Huck is the one looking for money and doing everything. What the hell are you doing? Chilling. Jake sitting in a car listening. He's chilling like bro man from the fourth floor. Huh? Okay. Always talking that bull. Is you not in charge I mean, at Pope and Associates? Floor? But you're not in charge of Pope and Associates. And I'm like, really, like, brother, you never became a gladiator. Remember when Huck told yeah, him that a long time ago? Yo, I'm so not for it. That joint really The way they get Abby, though, was kind of... No, it was some bullish. But I do understand what Huck was saying. You're not a gladiator, which means she, she does she's not... the White House. But she, she does not have the need to know, which is the same thing that David told her. And I know that line because I was in the military and I was special intelligence, and that's the word but David that, was being a, a little jerk. Jake is an asshole, but those are the words you tell someone when they don't no, have information. I mean, not Jake, sorry. David. Um, it's always been an asshole. We never, never like because the words that he used, he was he was just trying to get back at her. He was being an she asshole. Told her, him, you know, during that interview that, that she, she was smashed with his name. Yeah, he. But that when someone doesn't have the need to know, that's what it all goes to. She doesn't have the clearance. She doesn't have the level of clearance. However, me and you used to smash. We were together. We didn't just smash. You was my man, right? And you know that this, this is, is my, my best, best friend. friend. You're not gonna tell me that something's going on because he's an asshole, that's and why. she should have never been with him. Yeah. Okay? Abby's hair was looking really nice. I think they're adding pieces to it, but I like the way her hair looks. I like the way Abby is looking. They're giving her a Melly-like look, I guess, because she's the in the White House. The way they're curling her hair, yeah. Because she's in the White House. And what, uh, what's his name said? 
Huck said, you know, she's White House. It, it, you can tell. What, what I like about Huck is, like, after she left, you know, he looked at Quinn. He could tell she kind of needed an explanation or a reassurance that what you're doing is right. He was like, she's White House. We can't trust the White House. Because the person who snatched up Liv is White House. Exactly. So how can we trust that Abby ain't in on it, even though they should know better? But they, or, or if she's in and she doesn't know that she's in Exactly. It. And, or, and they know Abby would never sell her out. But the thing is, they don't know if she's being... Uh, follow. They don't know if they don't know what's going on. So they gotta, you know, do what they gotta do. And you know, Huck ain't about playing games. Huck was trained by Papa Pope. Yeah. Huck is controlled. Was trained to go. <laughs> Huck, yeah, he trained to go and ready to go. But he's also controlled by Papa, Papa Pope. So you know, it, his training was official. You heard what Papa Pope said about Jake. He said he used to have him. Jake has a. Uh, Whatever, like he's, you know, he's not in line with him anymore. Yeah. He needs to put his ass back in the um hole and maybe he'll be efficient like Huck again. Fool ass. That's why Olivia was able to, because he went running down the stairs thinking that they took her out the door when she was right next door. But he said, like, it was professional. They got her out in under 30 seconds. So how far could they have gone in 30 seconds? Huck would have kicked that damn girl down. Where's Liv? First of all, it just would have never happened. I just, I, I mean, that's just the black bottom line. But um, them snack going up to Mama Pope. What did y'all think about that? Yeah, I like when Mama Pope is involved. Yeah, I, I, they need to get her up out of that hole. Cause she's, <laughs> they need to get her you know, up out of that jail. She's sassy, ratchet. How you in in Luna Max and uh? Uh, you still sassy. And you saw how she was not very uh, bothered. You, like, she didn't show any type of emotional, like, oh my god, they have my daughter. Yeah. At first, I thought that she was lying to them when she was like, Igor or whoever wants yeah. these when people there. I was like, dang, she's just trying to get them to knock people, you finish her, do her job or whatever. But you but, see how she knew that Huck was going to be able to handle it. She said, you might want to send him in there. He's he's more there like that type. Yeah. Because she even knows that Jake ain't efficient. <laughs> Okay, and that's for anybody who was feeling some type of way what we were saying. We what we were saying about Jake. Even Mama Pope was like, nah, you don't need to go in there. Yeah. He needs to go in there. Cause you need that type of uh crazy, effective craziness yeah. to make things happen. Yeah. Okay? We can't go zero to one hundred. We need someone who's gonna go zero to a million. Let's be real. I think I always say to I infinity go infinity and beyond. Yeah, I always say I go to zero to one million. I think Huck goes zero to a billion. Let's let's yeah. say that because yeah. Huck is okay, but that's my kind of guy. I need him on my team. Murder? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? Need him on my team. So when Olivia was trying to convince those young men that this was Yo, not the life for them. that was so sad. She was like, when yeah. you were laying in your bed, you didn't dream of this. You didn't dream of taking orders from Liv, Gus. always thinking that, that she knows was. people. And he was like, nah, actually. I was dreaming about money, yo. Like, I didn't get, on time I ate was at school. And we had school breakfast at school. Like, he was like, lady. I dreamt of a billion dollars, so. Watch me get this money. That nigga said, a billy, a billy, a billy, a <laughs> billy, said, a billy, a billy, a billy, a billy, a billy, a billy. That dude was like, yeah, that's what he said. He was like, I'm not, um, um, I'm sorry. I'm not really feeling it. But I mean, she's right. I mean, dude is going to take them out. Obviously. I mean, so. Why they, would you split money if you don't have to? I mean, and these are just the computer guys. Unless he's smart and realizes, hey, this is something that we can do often. Oh, on their man. weekend, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we can, like every, we can every other weekend. Often. You know what I mean? And then he just, you know, and he's fair and keeps them on his team. I mean, I would keep them on. But my obviously, team. he wouldn't. He killed the boss, so that he could be the boss. You know, paid the cost to be the boss. Yeah, That's, what <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? But um, but he didn't even move the body. The homeboy on the floor, like. <laughs> he was trying to say don't shoot but <laughs> he was already down man down but um yeah Liv, Liv's hair is looking really nice but she's, she's not in a good situation it's really bad and now she's with Iran and that's probably the last place you want to be last. however I'm almost positive that uh I'm almost positive it's either Papa Pope is, in, is there mm -hmm. and he got her yeah which kind of would make sense that the way that they did it come into them you know cash money yeah outside source or because it's like hey what about the fact that um huck got two billion dollars and some change yeah and I he mean, still ain't buy a new plaid shirt though 
I mean, but that's how most rich people are. That's true, but he could have bought one shirt so that he could switch. You, you saw know, how they was looking at him, though? <laughs> when he was like... I have money. Quinn was like, you broke... Hey, broke homie, we not talking about $50. He was like, I such and such and such and such. I and have I, money. Love Huck. I love me some Huck. I want them to go back to the whole um, Javi situation, though, eventually. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, they just kind of... They just of course, we can't find out anything about anybody else until Olivia brings her ass home. Yeah. But um, I would like... I'm very much... I really wouldn't mind a spinoff. On Huck. What if? But what if um all of this was nah? That would and be not impossible. a spinoff show. Like if they did a movie. Yeah. On Huck. Oh, I love. I was it. gonna say, what if and, Mama and Pope keep... was behind this? But that would be impossible. She's in jail. No, it's not impossible because this fool ass is. Because known they as... say I ran and Mama Pope. You know she was running. But do up y'all in see how Mama Pope got all this information and know what's going on with her ass in jail? But she was smart though with the TV. Mm-hmm. Did not that she... was a smart move. Well, it was smart of Quinn to mention it. Yeah. Because they can't give her no computer. Mm. Bet not. Because I would have been asking for a yeah, tablet. Yeah, was like, oh, um, TVs are made out of wires. Yeah. Okay, and glass and metal. <laughs> you scary. David be tired of them. scary. Yeah, but I, I can't stand David. I cannot stand David for the life of me. I mean, I really, he gets on my nerves. But I, he, I feel that he is necessary. Because some of his, um, his lines are pretty funny. Hilarious. You know. I'm tired of Jake now, honestly. But I was tired of Jake before. And there's people who think, oh, y'all just like Jake. Y'all like Jake. We don't like Jake. What I say is for the character, for who she's with, I prefer I prefer her be with Jake than Fitz because Jake is unattached. And he does seem to truly love her. He's not efficient in regards to his job. Yeah. But he loves her. And he's not with another woman. You know? He doesn't have a wife. She doesn't have to be the little slut side chick. You know? Why would you want someone... And that's what you have to be. Why would you want anyone to be with someone and have to be that? Yeah. Like, don't you? If you like her so much. Why do you want her to be a star? Mind you, let's keep in mind that she's a fictitious character. But if you like this fictitious character so much, wouldn't you want the be, best you for her? Be hard for, um, wouldn't you want the best for, for her? You think it's going to be hard for Kerry Washington to, like, break out of the Olivia? Uh... Nah, because she's doing movies while she's in it. Yeah. But still. I, but I feel that the, the stuff she's doing is similar like even though it's like when she was in Django but it's the wife and you know she's she didn't have much to say and do the only good thing is that nobody when she hit that you scared me yeah because you scared he said why is you crying because you scared because why you scared? is you scared because you scared <laughs> I was like oh, I was like damn, damn. <laughs> Olivia is scared well, I mean that, no that's Olivia that's what I'm saying <laughs> That's because she's playing this character for a while. But I, I, I like I said, I want to see Olivia just do something else. Olivia, I keep saying Olivia. I, I guess Brittany's right. I want to see Kerry Washington do. But it, there's nothing wrong with that yeah. because because she started in movies, she's gonna be able to get other things without mm-hmm. problem. My thing is that she has to do something that's completely different. Not no goddamn action here. I was gonna say Eon Flux type stuff. No, because that was the or... biggest mistake Holly Berry did, in my opinion. She's, she's, first of all, and if you're a fan of X-Men, you know that she was not supposed to play Storm. And she should never have played Storm. I remember men, them Her saying... teachers are not strong enough. <laughs> Storm is like, when? <laughs> and all of it. So, what the hell is this Storm little... is like kind of scary. Like, but she remember... makes you feel uncomfortable. Harry Berry at Storm It's like, oh, can I give you a hug, Storm? Yeah. I remember they were talking about um, Angela Bassett. This is when X-Men first was being, you know, made. They were saying she was going to do it. That, that would have made, made sense. sense. Vivica Fox back in the day would have made sense. This is before she started changing things. I don't know what the hell is going on with Vivica Fox now. I see even still her. She's got too much of the, but the she's, uh, you know, the, but the, she's the, you know least, like the little cat. No, but she's at least face. tall. And, you know, think of her from Kill Bill. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, they yeah. could have. But, you know, I just don't understand. I, I, I mean, uh, Kerry Washington, I think she'll be fine as long as she doesn't t- do no whack ass roles. That's it. She just can't do no whack ass roles. But I think she should do some things that's different. Like I would be interested in her doing something else, comedy. Because I think she's funny. No, yeah, she is. I, I, I think she's pretty funny. I, I like her uh, doing comedy and stuff like that. I thought, you know, I think it'd be, you know, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, we'll see. everything will be whatever. But what do y'all think about the whole Melly wants to be president? I like the spin. 
I do. I felt even Fitz, less. I, I, I'm, I'm happy that Fix did not shut her down. Her dreams and do nothing. He was just like, All right. okay. That was boss. I thought it was so boss because what that I, partnership is no, so much but, better than their marriage. <laughs> but what I saw was last episode. I was picking up on the uh, Hillary Bill Clinton type vibe. She, you cheated. We're still together. It is what it is. I got your back. You got mine. The way she bossed up, came up to him, was like, I took care of it. And when she said to him, if you love her, you know, I thought this was a love thing. That I can accept. Are you telling me that this was just some thought move? And he's like, no, I do. All right, then. You already know what to do. That was so boss. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that's how you know she still loves him regardless. She knows that the marriage is not, it's not there anymore yeah. in regards to her being able to be his everything. However, she loves him and she's still loyal as his wife in the situation that they're in. She has to be because he's the president. Yes. This isn't the janitor. I repeat, this isn't the janitor. This isn't a doctor. He's not, you know, he's not a, a basketball player. Because even with them, I don't see the, why are you staying with them. But this is someone who's in politics. Really he's the happens. president. And the image is necessary in order for him to get the support he needs. And, and it was like, that's cool. I, I understood that. But um, they're giving off that vibe where it's like, you know, and when she said, you know, I want to run, you no, know, what was ridiculous? She asked him, what does he want more than anything in the world? He mentioned she baby Jerry. Jerry. And she was like, something that's attainable. And I felt bad. I felt so bad for him, you know, because you could tell she was like, oh man, like, you know, and then he mentioned Liv and she was like, okay. And she's waiting. She's like, ask me Fitz. The fact that she got to tell him that. He's so lame. Fitz is so selfish, but he's like that even with Liv. Yeah. He's a selfish man. And that's the thing with, you know, some of you women, you get with these guys who's selfish and they always showed they were selfish from the get go. You know, and did you, you think expect that in certain situations or because it's me? No, you know, they're just, they're, they're selfish and they're going to always be the selfish mother effers they are. So he asked her and she says, I want to be president. You saw the look he gave her, but you can see pride. Yeah. I like that. I, I like that uh, Fitz respects her mind. You know what I mean? Like, the, even before, remember, they, would, they allowed for even, you know, her giving input. Like, remember when they was dealing with gun control and stuff like that? You know, they know, get Melly, because she's, you know, from the South. Like, when she was drinking, and she was like, yeah. Yankee, when he was like, ah. Yeah. You know, I, you know, that was moonshine. There was no label on that bottle. Yo, people used to, they stayed calling us Yankees when we used to the South. But I'm like, you know, sometimes y'all be tripping with what y'all be drinking. <laughs> like, the hell? She's going to get a bottle of rubbing alcohol. That's, like, that's what it feels like. I mean, even though I've never drank rubbing alcohol, but it's like. I used to, you know. I had a, when I was a kid. She's a fool. Um, <laughs> I wasn't around, okay? Yes. But, um, no, you was. I did when you was there, too. I'm saying, I wasn't there to see you do it. You were, I, but you just didn't know. I'm saying, I didn't see you do it. I wasn't standing there looking at you. And you oh, no, that. I didn't drink it from the bottle, though. I would put it in a cotton and just chew it like gum. Dumb ass. <laughs> like, what kind of dumb ish is that? I think it tastes good. So you might as well go sniff glue, too. No, I never did that. Anyway. My sinuses are bad. <laughs> anyway, I, I like that. But um the whole thing with Melly running for president, I was like, mm, good spin. So then we got four, you know, got probably eight more years if she's if she's, you know. So that's four more years of scandal with Melly as president. Mm -hmm. I think that would be an outstanding twist on the show. Um because you, you look at how Melly's moving. You can tell that it's like, it's calculating. She yeah. knows what she needs to do. When she said, we need Olivia between us. I think she's she prepping. She said we sleep better with Olivia But she's also us. prepping for her run. Yep. She's going to need Olivia Pope. How she going to win? Yeah. And she also knows Olivia ain't above fixing an election. So she like, hey girl. I gives no ish. <laughs> best friends, girl. And, and I can respect that. When you want what you want, you need to get what you got to get. You might have to be friends for a second. With some people who you may not like. But it's clear that she doesn't see her as her enemy. Like, she doesn't hate her. Because if she hated her, she wouldn't have did none of that trash mm -hmm. to help her. You feel me? Because she didn't like it. It was clear she did not like what they did. You know? She doesn't like Olivia, you but she but she ain't about ridiculous. sending her over wherever. Because she know what would happen to her. And also, she loves Fitz and she don't want to see him hurt. You feel me? So, it's like, you know, it's, it's a really sour, effed up situation. But I get it. So the best scene was, hmm, two good. I, I liked when Melly said she wanted to be president. I, I like that. I also liked when her, you know, the decimation of smog that went down in that place. Yeah. Went in. Um, um. And I also thought when dude Olivia, shot 
when Duke yeah. shot him, that was that thing. Duke that was the turning in. point for the whole episode. That was a, was that like, was a good scene as well. I started putting my hands up because I know I'm black. I was like, oh, don't shoot, <laughs> don't shoot. When <laughs> Quinn was going off on her, because she was like, you shot the ass up, you shot the ass up, blah blah blah. But because she didn't want to hear, she's nobody not wants to hear the truth. Yeah. Truth hurts, but it shall set you free. Cause he was he's he's that telling was sad, the truth though. of what that was really what sad. if she's really just out there and it ain't her father who got her. I just she's really F. appreciate that Quinn is really on board though because remember like first and second yeah, season Quinn she was, was kind of like mess. I could not stand it. even third season. Remember I was like get Quinn out of here, kill Quinn now. Yeah, I was done with her, you know. But I got on her team, but probably what it was like the end of last season. Mm-hmm. I started saying dang, you know. But um, best line. Ah, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> I want to be president. <laughs> when, when, when Melly said she wanted to be president. I thought the best president. line was, we sleep better when Olivia, with Olivia between ah, us. That's a good one, too. That was a good one, too. You know, I, I'm not going to love these lines until my boy's back. Y'all know how I feel about Papa Pope. I, like, I really like seeing Mama Pope, though. <laughs> I think it would be dope she if she... So, she makes me think yeah. of the old lady that run the, the number spot. Yeah. Like, she's just... Our grandma used to have a number Ooh. spot. This is before Brittany was born. But, um, yeah, when I was younger, you see what I was around, okay? <laughs> she, always trying to follow, so she always trying to follow some rules. Child back. Listen, gotta be a good girl <laughs> sometimes. But, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think that's about it, right? I know so y'all, y'all, y'all probably feel some type of way. Our reviews have been shorter, but... Guys, we have been really busy. When yeah. I tell you lack of sleep. Uh-huh. Lack of sleep. And I'm back in school and yeah. I don't like Wait school. a minute. We got to tell y'all. And recently, just so y'all know, these were really, these are um, late also because, because like I said, we, we're busy. We're trying to start up a business. But also, Brittany's birthday was uh, Friday. My mother's birthday was Tuesday. Thursday. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thursday. I'm tired. I told you. Nah, I'm sleepy. <laughs> but so, and also on Saturday, Brittany started her first teaching assistant job in ballet and djembe, African drumming and bucket drumming. So, outstanding <laughs> for little Brit. I'm so proud of her and everything. And the kids, they started um, taking all these extra classes that yeah. I have to pay for. It's a lot of money. However, we get help from our Uncle Laveau. Her, mm-hmm. Their Uncle Laveau also chips in for them, which is cool. Anyway, that's all we had to say. I'm Jazz. And I'm Britt. NYCWAL. Jesus. Don't lie.